the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communal hospital be with you all. My beloved one today is 13th day of September B Friday, and we're 23 in our nighttime of the church calendar year too. Today, the mother church celebrates St. John Chrysostom, is a bishop and doctor of the church. Our readings will be coming from first let us report to the Corinthians chapter 6, chapter 9, verse 16 to 19, verse 22 to 27. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 84, verse 2. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 6, verse 39 to 42. The theme of our message today is discipline required to evangelize others. Discipline required to evangelize others. And now why today, Jesus was addressing this issue of being disciplined yourself to be able to evangelize. You can't give what you don't have. Now we ask the disciples, tell the disciples a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man without both of them falling into a ditch? Yes, blind men leading blind men. They all fall into a ditch. You can see example of Nigeria and many other countries of the world. Blind people leading blind people. They all, all end up in ditches. In pit. A disciple is not better than his master's teacher. Yes. But every well-informed disciple is as good as his teacher. Then, do you see it now? For you to be able to teach others, you must be well-formed. And lead, at least you will see clear to be able to make other people to open the eyes of the others. Remember, one of the mission of Christ is to open the eyes of the blind. If you are, if you are blind, you can't open the eyes of the blind. People. You must see clear to be able to open their eyes. And he said again, if you have a log in your eyes, how can you tell your brother, let me take a straight out of your eyes? You first of all will discipline yourself. Remove every log in your eyes and every speck in you. So are able to see the speck in your brother's eye and remove it. You can't be an indisciplined disciplinarian. You can't give what you don't have. That's condition. You must discipline, you must take. First of all, sanctify yourself before you can sanctify others. Inform yourself because if, before you can inform others. And that's why he went on to let them understand. Remove the rock from your eyes first of all so they can see clear. And then ask your brother to remove this prayer from him. You hypocrite. Look at where you are. You want to, you want to instruct people who are better than you. That's it. You are not disciplined enough, but you want to discipline others. You are not rooted in the world, but you want to instruct others on the world. So that discipline you must take. First, self. You must discipline yourself properly before you can help others. And now what Paul was telling us about his own experience. If I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground. That gives me no ground for boasting. Yes, I'm a messenger. For necessity is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Yes, this duty is given to me. I'm commissioned to do this. If it's my personal thing, I never have a reward for that. But since I'm doing this, all I'm doing is to win souls for God and to preach it free of charge because I'm, it was given to me free of charge. He said just this, that in my preaching, I may make the gospel free of charge and not making full use of my right in the gospel. Yes, serve others. He said, look at it, the discipline you must take. You must know that this work is assigned to you for you to be able to carry it out. And it's unconditional service, not selfish service. And he said, Paul said, I've made myself, I'm not a slave to any person, but I've made myself to every other person in all conditions, in all things, so as to win some people for God. I've made myself, I have made myself everything to every person to win them. You see how Paul had turned himself out. Discipline he took to be able to win so for Christ. That is discipline you require to evangelize others. And Paul is making us to know about it. I do all things. He said, 
I do it all for the sake of the gospel that I may share in his blessings. I may share in his blessings. Look at it. I do this so I can share in the blessings of the gospel I preach. And they begin to give us another example that every runner runs. But they hope to win a prize. All of them will run, but only person will get the prize. And all of them take a discipline to be able to run and only to win a perishable prize. But ours, if we take the discipline, we win an imperishable prize. Now the more reason we will take more discipline. And because of this, Paul said, I permit my body. I permit my body and subdue it. At least after preaching to others, I myself will be disqualified. You see, you permit your body, discipline your body. You want to discipline your body and soul to be able to impact the lives of others. That's the discipline you must take. Safe discipline. For me, your body, you don't do this. You say, I don't box in the air. I aim and hit. I don't run endlessly. I have a target. So that's the discipline you must take. You must be sober. You must be focused. You must have that safe control to be able to evangelize others. That is even God required from all of us today if we are to be the disciples of Christ. And now, when the psalmist who understood this so well to say this, look at how they put it. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts? Because having discovered the grace in serving this God, that's why he made this announcement. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts? If not, they are where else? That's why he's making every effort, taking all the discipline why to be there. And that's why today we're celebrating John Chrysostom. He's a bishop and doctor of the church. Born in Antioch in the year 349. Elected Patriarch of Constantinople in the year 397. Renounced for his knowledge of the scriptures. And soon I developed an excellent way of preaching the word. And now for that, because he preaches so eloquently, that was called giving the name Christos, the golden mouth. Because of these gifts, showered upon a great theologian of his time, he suffered many persecution and many exiles from the powerful enemies who sent him several on exiles because he contradicted them from an authority like the Epirus. Yes, you suffer greatly like you suffer in the hand of the people in power in Nigeria because you are telling them the truth, because you stand for the truth and they stand for lies, you stand for good, they stand for evil, to persecute you. So you went several times to Nazareth and died in the year 407 and we're celebrating today because he took the discipline in the wire and was able to impact on the people. And God help us understand this message today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and we take all the discipline in the wire to evangelize us all. And to so as a priest, and of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He be with you all.